It is the 25th of May, 1942, and we are here with the Sir Koof off the coast of Truck. And we have spotted some juicy, juicy targets consisting of a cargo fleet. Let's see if the Sir Koof can uh, take advantage of her big 8-inch gun and take out some of those targets. All right, so we have spotted the, uh, I had to surface to get uh, some radar readings, and we have spotted two cargo vessels. Unfortunately, they are both armed, it looks like. So, uh, we have to be careful of that. They're going to try to throw some shells our way with their five-inch guns. Or are those the uh, anti-aircraft guns? I, I, don't, I don't recall. Let's just take a look right quick. All right, so this oiler here, the Nippon Maru, does in fact have five-inch guns. Those are not any aircraft in place, but it's been so long since I played, I can't even freaking recognize anything. So we are going to uh, hopefully get uh, back down to periscope depth before some of those shells hit us. <laughs> Sir Koof is uh, very fragile, so we can see the two targets there on the uh, horizon. We are approximately 10,000 yards away, so... We could theoretically stay outside of their range. So if we look at the, this fellow, Nippon Maru, his range is 16,000 yards. So we'd have to scoot away from him a little bit before we could start to be safe. And we'd still be within our range, I think. Uh, I think we've got something like 18, or 34,000 yards with our guns. So theoretically, we could do that. Um, I think we'll just try to, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get away from them and uh, not get shot. And see if we can, uh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and zoom on in there and see if we can grab them. Well, hmm, they're going to be running faster than we can underwater. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try to run away from them. Or at least, uh, not quite directly away, but see if we can arrange ourselves so that we can get away from their, their range of their guns and still be within range of ours. So, about 16,000 yards and we'll be in good shape. All right, we are nearing the edge of their range. Their range is at 16,185 yards. We're at 16,000. So we're gonna go ahead and start the surfacing procedure here and uh, get ready to come back on the surface. There we go, beautiful. Beautiful to sight to see. All right, let's go ahead and grab our radar. Turn that back on. We are going to turn to uh, 270 on our heading. And hopefully we can get back in contact with those guys with our radar there. That'd be kind of dumb if we can't because uh, we know where they're at. My surface radar is 14, th uh, 14 nautical miles, so I kind of thought 16,000 yards and still be within radar range. <laughs> Alright, I had to dive again so that I could freaking see them, which is annoying. Alright, so I'm gonna <laughs> try to come back up <laughs> and see if we can get some shots on them. Alright, let's throw our radar back on. Let's see if we can get some shots on this guy before he disappears from our scopes here. Alright, we're gonna go and throw our manual firing on here. Guns a blazing. And there he goes. Really ridiculous. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. I can't even see if I hit him or not. So what's the use of a gun that can shoot 34,000 yards if you can't even see 34,000 yards? <laughs> 
They're just wasting bullets. Throw them blindly around. I mean, there they are. Why can you not see them, guys? Why? Oh, Alright, I just left because I'm just wasting my time. Alright, so let's just go ahead and send up some, uh, some aircraft. I know how that works, at least. Alright. Except that I just had an engagement with them, so it's not going to work, probably, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and throw up some semi-armor piercing bombs. Uh, let's go to 2,000 pounders. That should be enough. We'll just send up uh, four mariners. We'll have them come on out, and hopefully they can spot that, uh, that group. I do have the Enterprise and uh, the uh, Yorktown on their way down to the Solomon Islands at Guadalcanal. I uh, think, if I recall, we have the Washington and Atlanta on their way down to uh, to engage, and we have some task forces lined up here. I guess I was going to go for Tarawa, I don't really recall. He looks like he's heading back to the north. Task Force 6, yeah, they are all on their way to somewhere, presumably Tarawa. So, I guess that's where they're going. Alright, that's fine. So maybe we'll begin taking our battleship down there to assist with them as well. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit and see if we can find these cargo ships and uh, take them out. Alright, looks like we have found the cargo ships with this Wildcat. I'm going to see if I can bring my Mariners that I sent up down here and engage them. Bada bing, bada boom, let's do it. All right, Mariners, okay. Well, we got four of them. Let's go ahead and break these up into two then. We'll go you and you, form up into line ahead. There we go. You and you, form up into line ahead as well. There we go. All right, so first group, I want you to go ahead and climb and circle. Let's see if we remember how to do this. Climb and circle. There we go. We're gonna head for number two, and first group head for number one. Let's do it. All right, we are on our way here for our first strike. Just about up to ten thousand feet. Close enough. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start slowing down now, so that we can. Uh, slide right in here. Oh, I do need to open up my bomb bay doors. Do that. There we go. Oh yeah, look at those big old bombs. Oh, <laughs> mama. That's gonna be juicy. If we can get hits. Juicy. If not, then it'll be not juicy. Alright. Here we go. Like pigs in a barrel. No, fish in a barrel. Pigs in the barrel. Jeez. That's a weird thing. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and get ready here to do our drop. Get ready to swing around and drop. We are dropping. Bombs away. There you go. Don't know what we got there, but we're gonna go ahead and zip away there with him. Let's see what happens. Is her coof on that? No. That's pretty good hits and a couple of near misses. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see, those were big bombs, so critical hit. Yep. Alright, fantastic. Gonna get this next group. They are ready already. Get them turned around. We're gonna go after number two with them. 
can see off in the distance the uh, burning cargo ship. And there she goes. She is sinking. So, seemed like last time might have been better served by uh, breaking off those guys. I'm going to have this guy just circle around. And then we'll send one in first and have him uh, drop his bombs. And then uh, the next guy will do his afterwards. Just to make sure we, we sink this uh, oiler as well. I think we will be able to. Uh, I, think, I feel like even a near miss on an oiler is pretty devastating. With a 2,000 pound bomb. But we'll see. All right, here we go. Let's bring this Mariner around. Ooh, it's a pretty tight circle. Such a big bird here. All right, let's drop. Bombs away. There they go. Hopefully the cross bombing will, uh, will work out. She is turning pretty severely, so we'll see. No. Not enough to start a fire, unfortunately, I don't think. No. Okay. Still got bombs on you, right? Sure do. You can go ahead and zip on out, my friend. You, target number two. Come on around. All right. I usually don't really like to run head on like this. I thought he was going to keep turning, but he is not. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Just keep on him. This is good. This is good. Looking good, bros. Oh, yeah. This is going to nail it. Bombs away. Nice. There they go. Mm, he's still turning pretty good. direct hit that's great on an oiler that's pretty bad for him. minor bro bro that was a direct hit with a 2,000 pound bomb that's it all right well it says minor so I guess it's minor all right looks like the fires are starting to spread a little bit which is good especially in an oiler Oh yeah, come on baby. They're spreading. They're spreading. Good explosion. Oh, that wasn't good for her. Critical, critical. That wasn't good. That was not good. And down she goes. Where she'll stop, nobody knows. I think she'll probably stop at the bottom. Adios, amiga. She gone. All right, fantastic. Okay, just got a couple command points for that. Let's go ahead and send those mariners back. And Sir Koof, what are you doing? He's uh, he's patrolling down there. Okay, good. Uh, he's on his way back up to. Uh, does Wake Island have a lot of fuel here? Let's see. 
Da, 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 210. Okay, I guess I'll send him back up to uh, Midway then. Which Midway does have zero. <laughs> so, alright. These guys are all on their way down. Alright. You know what? It might be good for Enterprise to assist with this invasion. I feel like we might not be taking advantage of our assets very well here if we don't have some air cover down here for these guys. Besides what's coming from um, Cosray right here. So, you know what? Let's just head on down and help with these with the carrier strike force here. Oh, Avengers got something. Interesting. <laughs> I had some Avengers out patrolling and it looks like they have spotted uh, six ships. Six ships. Okay, so he is not armed. He's just being a scout, apparently. So, let's go ahead and send up a strike force from Yorktown. Looks like a cart. Yeah, one MS, one AO. So let's go ahead and launch uh, some aircraft from Yorktown. We'll do some Dauntlesses. We'll just do the, uh, yeah, we'll do these bombs here. We'll send all of them. Yeah. Let's just send all 24, though. Get them guys taken out. Get on up. Get on up there. Okay. Hopefully we can find them before evening here. There they are. What we got? Oh, a hospital ship. Oh, okay. And an oiler. Well. I don't know. I feel weird about bombing that hospital ship. It's been long enough now that I feel weird about it. <laughs> when I'm in the heat of it, I sometimes... Just like as ah, it's part of the game. I mean, I wish they weren't even in the game to tell you the truth, because it's not fair. Because I either like have to feel bad for destroying them, or I just knowingly let them invade. It's kind of a bummer. So, I don't know. Kind of a bummer. Ah well, let's just go and do it. We will be. We'll let these guys. Get tried for war crimes. <laughs> or Johnny and Jack. Go down in history as war criminals. Oh wow, that was a big miss on the order. Miss on the hospital ship. Wow, more misses. Good job, guys. Like the oiler is getting hit all over them. These guys are just completely whiffing on the hospital ship. I'm surprised, really. It's slow and big. Maybe it's their subconscious keeping them from getting, uh, getting good hits. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely unusual for them to miss this much. They didn't miss. No, sir. No, sir, they did not. Alright. Well, got critical heavy on the hospital, heavy, heavy on the oiler. I feel like they're both going to go down. Oh my god, there was one more strike coming in, okay. Oh, he's going down for sure now. Going down for sure now. And there she goes. Oh man, she's rolling over, jeez.
number two's not looking too good either. The oiler. She's uh she's listing pretty bad. She's got a heavy, heavy damage, but no fires, so. She's probably not gonna sink on her own. We probably need to go ahead and get these uh Dauntlesses to come back straper. Come on back, boys. Straper. I would slow them down, but uh, we'll just let them all come in high speed. That way they don't less likely to get shot. I'm not super concerned with the efficiency of the attack. I just want them to catch some fires and I think that'll be good enough. Alright, unfortunately the first group are already on their way in. She does have teeth, so hope I don't lose any dollars. There you go. 50 cows on target, baby. Now, I know there is an update that was... Oh, there goes the Dauntless. Dang it. I know there was an update uh, where the any aircraft modules could be... Um, could be destroyed. I have not uh, downloaded that beta yet. So, that is... Uh, that is new that they just put into the uh, the release, but uh, like I said, I have not downloaded. It. I was afraid it would break some of my mods, so I will I will download it whenever I find out for sure if it will break my save file here. All right, so we got that. We got these guys coming in. These guys are going to come in during the night. How long does it will it take? 300 miles that's a long time okay it's 23 hours let's uh let's go ahead and get these guys all down here your prize come on over and then we'll uh let's see if we can get those guys all taken care of at the same time where are you going trusty oh he's almost out torpedoes okay that's why i was bringing him down there i say all right makes sense Alright, air operations are available. Let's get Yorktown to send up her um, Wildcats. All of them. And uh, you're going to guard those boys. Alright, we got uh, something that just came out of rest and repair. I have no idea what was even in there. Uh, <laughs> got a Northampton's coming out in three days. Couple of uh, Jervis destroyers coming out in a few days. All right. I uh, don't even know what I've lost. I don't remember anything that was going on. We lost uh, eight ships so far. Enemy losses have lost uh, a lot. 129 ships for almost a million tons sunk. So not bad. Did we sink the Yamato? We did. All right. Great. I do remember that slightly. Okay. So. Let's um let's go ahead and get ready. Pompeii has gotten an encounter with some aircraft. Ooh, is that a carrier? Where'd you come from? No, I came from truck. Okay. Alright, so Task Force Lodgy has gotten an engagement right outside of Tarawal. We do have lots of wildcats up. And so hopefully we can uh, get everybody going with that. And there's the bombers. Okay, got some Emilys. More Emilys. All right. Get these guys moving around. Who's lead on the ships? You. Speed up. All right, there we go. Are you attacking? You're attacking them. Okay. They're all attacking them. Good. Here we go, fire. Really? Ah, I lost a wildcat. God dang it. Alright, can you attack? 
like him. Okay. Pack him. Nice. Pack him. Pack him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, somebody got hit. Damage, Jack. All right, he already had quite a bit of damage, unfortunately. All right, go and turn. Get another ship. Oh my God, this guy's dead in the water already. <laughs> if he gets hit, he's in trouble. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Okay. Did we get them all? Still some more coming. There we go. Alright, well, you guys come on back this way then. Form up, please. Okay, well, I don't know where the rest of the planes are, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. Alright. These guys are in rough shape. <laughs> they all need to go back home. Jeez, okay. It's almost uh day oh it's just now daybreak. And uh oh. And so hopefully we can get out of here and not lose this. Nah, I'm just gonna leave. I don't care. I was gonna say I might lose that scout, but I don't. I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna leave. Ooh, what we got here? Oh snap! Oh snap! One CV, one MS. Holy cow! Holy Pacolis! Let's go for armor piercing bombs with the mariners get them up head them down here it's wildcat you stay with them okay oh, oh, what the heck two carrier groups surely those are not really carrier groups don't call me Shirley What the heck am I seeing here? Surely that's a misidentification. Okay. Let's get the Catalina up. We'll take D thousand pound armor piercing. Go on down here. Okay. These guys are all fine down here, I think. Right, all right, all right. What can we send from you? Let's send uh, armor piercing bombs from you as well. Send you on over. Let's just see if we can keep an eye on these cats. Will the wild cat? So, Task Force Lodgy is the one that has the engagement, and they are really the one that's really damaged already. So, I would like to be a little hacky and not let Task Force Lodgy be the one to get engaged, but in fact, take Task Force 29 with the Benson and the C3 here. So, do that. I'm gonna do that, I think. We still should get the Wildcats, right? Yep, Wildcats still on deck. All right. Much better because uh, these Mavises, I think we'll be able to get them with the Wildcats and dodge relatively easily with these guys as well. Let's go ahead and speed up. And uh, Vincent will break. I'll break this guy. Vincent, go ahead and turn left. He's going to go in and try to intercept those Mavises as well. Whatever's left from the Wildcats. Wildcats, of course, are doing stupid stuff. Not attacking. Okay. They just like to fly up on them and not attack. Look at that. Shoot your freaking guns, you morons! You 
no, you can attack this guy. You don't have to not attack him. Them. There's one incoming still up here. Oh, got him. Okay. And all of them? Maybe it. Yep, nine out of nine. Great. Okay. That's probably the ones that we saw earlier. And we were just waiting on that to uh, resolve itself. Alright, so you come on down here. D -d 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 -sir Kuf. Come on down there. And you come up here. Alright, Catalina. Come up there as well. Okay, great. They're on their way. Catalina's got an engagement. I don't care. Not interested. Okay. <laughs> Hack. Okay. Oh boy, I lost my wildcat. Okay. Come on, Mariner. Get down there. Spot these bad boys. 52 command points from our weekly command points. Great. I don't even know what I need. Uh, <laughs> another battleship, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember what all I had going on, to tell you the truth. So, we'll have to take a look at that. Probably use uh, some good... <laughs> this is not a carrier. You lying sack of doo-doo. Lion liars. Okay. Wildcats calling it in. We got a we got a carrier down here. We got a new carrier. Billy Bob, is that a carrier? I think it is, Freddy Bob. Alright, well, carrier or not, we're gonna take it out. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and open up your bomb bay doors, please. Breaker breaker one nine, open up your bomb bay doors over. And I think we can probably just zoom in as is. I, I mean, do they even have anti-aircraft? He doesn't. Okay, that Oiler does. I don't, I don't want to lose these guys, so I'll go ahead and tell him to climb. But I think whatever they can get to will be fine. First attack run. Here we go. Attack the Oiler. I'm not too concerned about climbing, so I was gonna get up to 10,000. I'm just like, eh, just bomb, just bomb the bejesus out of him. I'm about to have a come to Jesus moment right here. They don't believe in Jesus, but that's fine. <laughs> they don't have to. They can still die. Okay, here we go. Boo. Send you to hell, boys. Nope. Not yet. Gunners on that merchant don't play. Ow. Two hits. Are we ready for this? To bring an armor piercing bombs, which is not ideal. Alright, let's just drop it. That wasn't uh, a perfect alignment, but I think we'll be alright. It'll be alright. Should be enough to kill him anyway. <laughs> yes, Lord. All right, let's bring this other guy around. You all opened up? Yep, he is. Okay. He's about to sink, I'm sure. 
so. Yep, he going down. Next group of mariners are gonna come around. This other guy he is completely unarmed. Let's have him attack automatically. And then I'll bring this guy in to attack manually, just in case the automatic guy whiffs it, which he probably will. Knowing them. He's probably dropped already. Let's see what he, what he gets. Oh, okay. He didn't whiff it terribly. I mean, he still got a hit. His armor piercing bomb, so it could have been probably more effective had it been HE. But. Okay. We thought we was coming up against carriers or something, so. Line Wildcat pilot. Panicking up there. I swear, boss! It was a carrier. It was a flat top. I promise. I promise to God. That was terrible. By the way, terrible drop. Hey, I did better. That may be enough to sink you. I mean, you know. Could have been much worse. And she's going down. Boom. You're seeing it. Fantastic. Let's get on up out. Okay, so uh, this group can RTB. Uh, the Catalinas are still on their way down. They can uh, catch that other group. There they are. Let's uh, let's not spawn in right on top of them, please. Let's head up just a little bit. Oh, Lord. Lord help a goose. All right. Oh, 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 let's get Benson engaged again. Go. Benson, Benson, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. What we got here? Roofs. Roofs. Roofs on fire. We don't need no water. Let that mother eeker burn. Burn, mother eeker. Burn. Come on around, Benson. Quit shooting your guns. You're just wasting shots. Got it on five times speed, buddy boy. You know that doesn't work. Alright, roofs are fighting. Roofs are fighting the wildcats. Should be overwhelming here. Got one uh, roof down already. See if I can get these guys killed. Yeah, these guys are running out of ammo, so. Copies of that. There we go. They're down. Bring these guys back. Let them refill. Send up that other squad from the other courier. I think these are from the Enterprise, or are these from the York Town? I don't know. Okay, eight out of eight, shot down, great. Okay, that's great. Catalina, are you ready? Let's get out of the, uh, there you go. Catalina's ready. Catalina. Oh, Sarkoof's on the map, interesting. All right, Catalinas, see these, see these guys anywhere? Now you guys are proper spotters. Should be able to spot these guys. We know the Sarkoof, even with radar, can't spot anything, so. 
Look. <laughs> Let's see if we can find them with Catalinos here. Yeah, they are. Is it a carrier? <laughs> nope. Sure isn't. Okay. Well. Why you lie to me? Why you lie to me like that? Alright, let's get ready. Alright, first group of Catalinas coming up against the armed oiler. Nippon Railroad. That's what it's called. No Bombay doors on these guys, just the under underwing bombs. So we are going to head right. We're going to skip over the first guy. He's harmless. Well, maybe not harmless, but less than harmful. And we're going to go after the Nippon here, the oiler. Let's see if we can give him a little spanky spank. It should have slowed down, bro. Yeah, it should have. Drop. It's uh, less than ideal. like that. Alright, let's go. Slow down this time, my friend. I feel like that's gonna... Is that... What? He is... He got no fires? Wow. I'll be hornswoggled. Okay. Is that heavy heavy, though? No fires. I don't remember... Did we load up? I don't remember what we loaded up. HE or armor piercing. We might have been armor piercing. So that's probably why. Okay. So, maybe this one guy can come over after him then, and we'll send these guys up after the other guy. Or maybe I'll just break all these apart, you know? Why not? Just break them all apart. We go after him. He's at six knots, so it should be relatively easy to give him a good old whipping. Alright, here we go. We are ready for Catalina to finish off this oiler. Just coming in. We have a nice drop here. She's nice and slow up here. So I should be able to get a nice hit, I hope. Unfortunately, like I said, got armor piercing bombs, so. I thought the Wildcat was telling the truth. Should not. And those fighter pallets like to uh, exaggerate. I shot down 20 zeros today. Oh, did you? Sure, that wasn't like seagulls. There you go. That was terrible. By the way, terrible job. All right. Well, he got a good hit on his uh, engine compartment back there. Let's see what the old report says. Critical heavy. Is there a fire burning? I don't think so. Nope. That might be enough to... Uh... Okay, Catalina coming in for another hit on the oiler. I'm going to swing up just a little bit here. Armor piercing. Bombs, not the greatest for these ships. They don't start fires. No fire starters. I think if we would had HE or at least some armor piercing, it'd be something by now. right on this rear compartment again, unfortunately. Okay. At this point, I feel like... Did you drop already? Yes, you did. Dang it. Alright. 
hopefully he gets a good hit on this guy. I didn't realize I was so close with him. Let's just watch them both. I got two hits back there. Hey, I got I got zero hits. Are you gonna sink? Two direct hits. He's at critical critical. No fire still. Alright. I guess I'm gonna have to bring it in with him. Bummer, dude. This oiler. Can you believe with all those bombs dropped that <laughs> Okay, he did sink. Thank goodness. Okay, I was gonna have to say, it's ridiculous. Okay, the flooding got to him, I guess. Yep, there he goes. He's heading down. All right. Let's do this thing. It's a, this is a little guy, I mean. He's just a little guy. That was a good hit. Unfortunately, armor piercing, you know, as we mentioned earlier. So, they did start some fire, so maybe it'll be enough to, uh, to sink the fella. We'll see. We'll take an eye, we'll keep an eye on him and, uh, see what happens. Alright, well, Sir Koof is on their way down here, but it's going to take forever for them to catch up, uh, down to 34,000 yards so he can start shooting. Um, unfortunately, uh, this guy's fires have gone out. He is at uh, minor damage right now, so Catalina's are keeping an eye on him. Uh, so uh, theoretically, the Sarkoof could probably get within range and uh, get a shot on him. But like I said, it's going to take a while. I don't know if I want to wait that long. It's already been an hour and a half. Feeling kind of antsy, like I want to turn it off. So. We'll wait a little bit longer, and uh, he's, he is getting his speed back up, unfortunately. So he's back up to eight knots, and uh, as he increases his speed, of course, the Sarkoof gains less and less headway on him. So we might go ahead and wait. We'll see. All right, I think I, I'm done waiting. That's <laughs> taking too long. <laughs> So we do know the uh, Sarkoof is on the way down there. Let's see if we can just go ahead and get in here and get an engagement with him. Uh, there he is. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and begin. Sarkoof, where is your target? Should be right around here. There he is. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn to the left. We are going to go ahead and surface. I don't think he has any thing to fight you with yeah baby radar on target number one heck yeah hold your fire go ahead and get ready to aim where bro you're aiming the wrong direction Yeah, aim that way. <laughs> there you go. Hold your fire, though. All right. There you go. Get the guns in the range there. Okay. We are ready. We are ready for a launch of the old cannons. Let's just go right here. Boom! I missed the actual shot. Look at that, though. Look at that shell coming out of there. <laughs> nice. Let's just go ahead and do something like that right there. Boom! There they go. Shell's away. Oh! Great hits. Jeez. Very nice. He's on fire already. Nice! Shells away. Hold your fire. That might be enough right there. 
Those big eight inch guns. Oh, nice. What are we looking like? Critical, critical, yep. Okay. Not looking good. Should we do one more hit? Do one more fire. He's, he's at a standstill, so we'll just do one more shot. Launch fire. Nice. Okay. And he's down. Fantastic. He is down. Sir Koof. Got to kill. Good job, Sir Koof. With the support of the Catalinas, you've redeemed yourself. All right. So, let's go ahead and retreat. Good job, Sir Koof. You're the man. You guys, RTB. Uh, back to Kajra, yep. And you can... Uh, this Catalina can go RTB as well. This Wildcat needs to go... Oh, he's still doing his, uh, his thing. Okay, great. Alright, so then uh, these guys are still getting ready to uh, to move into position. They're going to wait until uh, nightfall. This is stuck up here because I used Benson to, to do that. Alright, so let's uh, let's get this Wildcats back, actually. Let's, uh, let's send up the Enterprise or the Yorktown's Wildcats. Send them up to Task Force Lodgy as well. And send these Wildcats back home to rearm. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. All right, so uh, that's going to be about it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. Next episode, we will do the invasion of Tarawa. And, uh, or as uh, I have heard it pronounced, Tarawa. So I'm not sure which one is correct, but I think it's Tarawa, honestly. Because, uh, if I recall correctly, that is how the people who live there pronounce it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.